Hello everybody, we are back with Fallout 2. So, Tozy, let's spam some doctor's bag. <laughs> let's see if that works. Um, who was crippled? Was it Sulek? You heal the damaged eye, well that went quickly. That was pretty cool. Can we heal Cassidy too? No. Okay, um, Cassidy looks healthy. Does he have any more to say? No. Um, so I want to dabble around in <clears throat> New Reno a little bit more because I think uh, we still have some quests that we should do for the other bosses. I think. I think. I'm not sure. But... Um, <clears throat> I think we haven't done anything for Salvatore, have we? Um, not sure. Let's check it out. Wasn't he? Where, where did he live? Salvatore's bar. Let's see. I think they're not attacking us anymore, so that should work. Um, we have the mission to assassinate him, but I, I don't want to do that yet. I can't help you. Okay, let's just go upstairs. Lose Salvatore. Mason. You done walking in the wrong tribal. You are done walking in the wrong place, tribal. Get. Oh, I want to see Mr. Salvatore. Where it is you, Salvatore, is poisoned that right, kid? Let's just talk to Salvatore first. Life still of disappointments. Now, get. Capiche. I want to see Mr. Salvatore. I want a job. Look, maybe you ain't heard, Tribal, but this is Salvatore's place. My job is to make sure the boss ain't bothered by yapping dogs like you. Now run back to your tribe and cook up one of your people for dinner. Okay. Word is, you Salvatore is poisoned that right, kid. Mason's face goes stone cold and he reaches for his weapons. I don't think you'll find killing me as easy as poisoning that kid. Okay, he's gonna try to attack me. I didn't want that, so we're gonna load again. Um, and see if we can, oh, I should have saved. Okay. Uh, deja vu, deja vu. Let's heal Sully's eye again. That does nothing, okay. I'm not, that's not the doctor's bag, is it? That's super tool. <laughs> All right. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, you heal the damaged eye, awesome. Now let's go back to Second Street and then let's save there so we can go through a couple of the dialogue options. <clears throat> uh, oh, that's convenient. Let's go upstairs first. Uh, and after that, I don't think we have much more in Urino. Um, we do have a couple of stuff for the NCR. Okay, <clears throat> I want to see Mr. Saratora. Let's go with look, dipshit. Do you still want to have your job tomorrow? I have some info about one of the other families in Reno that Mr. Saratora is going to want to hear, so let me speak to him now. His face reddens. He suddenly speaks to the air. Excuse me, Mr. Saratora. This is Mason. This man says he's got something you want to hear. Wait. Mason pauses, listening to something you can't hear. After a moment, his teeth clench. Mr. Saratora says you may come in, Barani. Thanks, asshole, yo. I'll be sure to mention your manners to Mr. Sotori. Mason stops you. Look. Leans in, lowers his voice. Some ground rules, boy. Don't waste Mr. Sotori's time and don't give him any bullshit or you'll answer to me. Yeah, I understood. Mason stops you again. I ain't done yet. You show him respect. You call him Mr. Sotori at all times and when he talks to you... When he talks, you shut up and listen, understand? Understood? God, what the fuck, man? You're gonna die sooner or later. <laughs> you are going to die sooner or later. The elderly man looks up at you. His face is gaunt and covered with liver spots. He's holding a breathing mask which is connected to an oxygen tank by his side. What do you want of me? <laughs> um, I'm looking for a job. 
takes a deep breath, takes a breath from the oxygen, oxygen mag, mask, and gives a slight smile. Of course you are, and why should I hire you? Um, well, why not? Name a job, I'll do it. I'm hardworking, and I got the skills to get things done. Shakes his head slightly. Your naivete has no place here. Words are not sufficient. You wish to work for Lou Salvatore, then I must know how much I can rely on you. Look, you can count on me. Takes a deep breath from the oxygen mag, mask, mac, then gives a slight smile. Of course, I require a token of your good faith, a sample of your willingness to work for me. What do you want me to do? Takes a deep breath from his oxygen mask. There is a man who has used his skill with cards to rob me. The sum is trivial. The insult is not. I want him killed and the money he stole returned. Okay, who's it? Mason will have the details. Nod at ex nods at exit. Go on. All right. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Mason, you piece of shit. About time you showed up, boy. What time you showed, boy. This bum that stole from Mr. Saratori's. His name is Lloyd. We know Lloyd, don't we? Um, Mr. Saratori wants him dead and that money he stole back. When you've done the job, report back to me. Understand? Think you can handle that? Where can I find Lloyd? He's been laying low, so tracking him down is going to be your job, boy. Best bet, check some of the bars along Virgin Street. Lloyd might be running another hustle there. That's all I need, thanks, Mason. Let's ask some other questions. Wow. What does Lloyd look like? Lloyd? Hell, he's about average height. White, brown hair. Last I saw him, he had a tan shirt and a dark brown scarf. He probably ain't changed his clothes since I saw him last. <clears throat> okay. How much did he steal? About a thousand chips. Now look, they ain't nothing to Mr. Sovatori. Um, But he's got his policy, this policy with regards to people who take anything from him. If I were you, I'd remember that. Mr. Sovatori's going to want every chip back. All right. Why aren't you tracking him down, Lloyd? Why aren't you tracking? Why? What the fuck? Why aren't you tracking down Lloyd? I've been keeping my eyes open, but Lloyd's pretty, been pretty careful about keeping out of sight. No, Saratori's eyes, anyway. I'm betting the boss figures you might have better luck being new in town and all. Yeah, I had some other questions, the eyes narrow. Of course, if you're implying I ain't doing my job, then you and I can have a discussion up close and personal right now. Mr. Saratori's ain't gonna ask what happened to your sorry ass. I'm not implying that you aren't doing your job, splinter dick. I'm telling you. Okay, calm down. I was just curious. All right, then. Um, who was the dealer at the table Lloyd won the money from? Her name's Nikki. She's downstairs in the back room. Mason stares off into the distance. Man, does she have a perfect ass. All right. That's all I need to know. Thanks, Mason. Piece of shit. All right. Should we talk to Nikki first? That's a darling Nikki. Let's go talk to Nikki. See what she's got to say. Oh, place your bets. Minimum bet. Five chips. Place your bets. Yeah, you, Nikki. You, you, Nikki. I'm ever you want me to be, sweetheart. Now you're going to place a bet. Uh, Yeah, I'm betting you know where pretty boy Loy is. And that's the bet you would lose, sweetheart. But if you are as stupid as you're ugly, you'd probably bet anyway. I ain't seen that, seen that bum since he conned. Mr. Sovatoria, pretty suspicious you didn't notice him cheating all those times. You would have to be blind or bribed. Yeah, you take enough jet and everything seems suspicious, don't it? It is suspicious. You should have had Lloyd pegged for what he was as soon as he walked in this casino. Well, should we, should we, should we trick her? Like, Nikki, I want, I know you helped Lloyd cheat. Tell me where Lloyd is and I'll give you half of his take, 500 chips. Can we do that without getting fucked? Let's save. That's interesting. I mean, maybe, I don't know. We could try. Let's try. How are you doing, Nikki? Yeah, I'm betting you know. Okay. Nikki, I know you help Lloyd cheat. Tell me where Lloyd is and I'll give you half of his take. Five hundred chips. You get the hell out of here right now. I ain't got nothing else to say to you. No, maybe. You will talk later, though. Nikki, count on it. Okay. I guess that wasn't too bad. Let's try to find Lloyd. What? He was on Virgin Street. 
Are we on Virgin Street? I don't think we are. I think we are on 2nd Street. Let's go to... Why does Salik always say better check my gear again? What's his problem? Does anybody know? I checked it. He's using the Panker jackhammer, which is fine. Virgin Street. <laughs> Lloyd. Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd. Are you Lloyd? It's Shep. Maybe he knows where Lloyd is. We got white booty, black booty, southern booty, northern booty. Cat's paw. We've been here before. Does she have anything? No. No. Is there a Lloyd in here? There's no mail in there. That's a very good brothel, I guess. What's this? Is this the porn place? No, it's not. Wasted looking junkie. Hey, brother. Can you help me fly? No, sorry, I can't. The grungy, shaggy looking man. Maybe we can talk to him. Who the fuck are you going? Woof, woof, woof. Uh, are you all right? Woof, 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 woof. Sounds like you might be suffering from some neuro neurological disorder, maybe epilepsy. Sadly, I cannot do anything about it. Bye. <clears throat> all right, that was interesting. I bet there's a quest behind that. Big thug. Car dealer. Oh, that's probably him. Three cart Montes... Monty. Three cart Monty? Is that how you pronounce it? Three Cart Monty is the name, and the game's the same as the name. Slap down 20 chips, and we'll get down uh, down to it. Uh, get down to what? Get down to what? The game, of course. Could you explain the rules again? See, it shows you three cards. One of these is a queen. I lay them face down, shuffle them, and then you pick which one the queen is. If you're right, you win. That simple, pal. Okay, here's 20 chips. You hand over the cash. Monty nods. Shows you the cards, then lays them on the ground. As he does, he palms the card so quickly you almost miss it. He then proceeds to shuffle for a few seconds. So which one's the green pal? You're a goddamn cheater. <laughs> let's, let's say the one in your sleeve. What did you say, pal? You're accusing me of cheating? Uh, yes. Look, I ain't got time for sore losers. You pay your money, you take your chances. If you want to play, fine. But if you're just gonna bitch when you lose, then get lost. That's it, you're dead. I don't know. Okay, let's play again. You hand over the cash, Monty nods. Shows you the cards and lays them on the ground. As he does, he palms the cards so quickly you almost miss it. Let's go. Give me back my cash before I kill you here in the street. What did you say, pal? Excuse me of cheating? Yes. Well, we could just kill him. Yeah, we shouldn't kill him before we haven't saved, because you never know what happens. All right. Uh, why don't you give me some information? Oh, there we go. Really, I talk depends on what you want to know, and it's not going to be cheap. Got anything? Uh, you know where I could find some guy named Pretty Boy Lloyd? Maybe I heard something. Maybe I didn't. Name a price. Twenty-five chips. Tw uh, 250 chips. That's about right, grins evilly. Look, you ain't heard it from me, but if I was you, I'd check the basement of the Desperado. On Virgin Streets, uh, Street, there's a lot of rats there, if you catch my drift. Got it, thanks. All right, all right, we got, a, we got a tip. Let's go to the basement of the Desperados, see if we can find Lloyd. <laughs> um, where the hell is the basement? How do you get in the basement? Here? Oh, it's just a desk. Is there anything in the desk? Oh fuck, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> I didn't notice that he was saying, um... Get the fuck away from my thing. Okay, um, information, 250. That's about right, thank you. I wonder, we, we shouldn't, we, we didn't even have to ask him that because we knew it was the basement of the Desperados. Oh, there it is. Oh man, these stairs are, they're like easy to miss. All right. Oh, pretty boy, Lloyd. There you are. Let's have a little chat. 
it's locked, at least. I mean, we were lockpicking experts. Look at that. You can't hide, Lloyd. You can't hide. Who are you? What are you doing down here? You, Lloyd. Pretty boy, Lloyd. Stephens, maybe. Who are you? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Dispense with the bullshit, Lloyd. I'm here for the money you stole from Mr. Savitori. Look, Lloyd, hand over the cash, and I might forget ever I saw you until you're far away from here. Lloyd, Mr. Sotori sent me here to get his money back and have me make an example of you. It doesn't need to be that way if... Okay, I don't want to... I might choose the second one, like, give me the money and then you can leave. I don't think either one of us believes that. Swallows. But maybe I can trust you. The money's buried on the Golgoth Golgotha, plain south of Reno. One of the greys. Only I know where it is, though. Well, tell me. Oh, I said show me. Lloyd looks like he's about to say something, thinks better of it than nods. All right, then. Seems I got no choice. Let's go. We need to get our shovel from the car. Which is unfortunate. <clears throat> oh, should we get the shovel? Or maybe he has a shovel. Let's go. I have some, uh, I'm right behind you. Here we are. The money's in this grave here. Oh, that looks brutal. Dig it up, Lloyd. Uh, there's two types of people of uh, of people in this world, Lloyd. Those with loaded guns and those that dig. Lloyd mumbles on his breath, and then proceeds to dig carefully. Less than a minute later, he pulls out a landmine from beneath the dirt and sets it aside. He shrugs sheepishly. <laughs> oh, you bastard! You almost hit us killed there. Nice one, Lloyd. Keep digging. Let's see what else what else is under there. A half hour later, Lloyd has dug away enough dirt to reveal a small manhole cover set into the ground. You're certain you wouldn't have found it if Lloyd hadn't told you about it. Lloyd takes a deep breath and wipes his forehead. Old fallout shelter. Well, let me open this, Lloyd. No, Lloyd, you open it. Open the manhole, Lloyd. The manhole cover opens with a rusty shriek, revealing a dark hole leading downwards. Get in there, Lloyd. Lloyd frowns, thinks about making a comment, and then shrugs and climbs down into the manhole cover. <sighs> Drop the landmine. Hurry up, Lloyd. <clears throat> you hear Lloyd grunting down below. Hold on, almost got it. There's the scraping of metal in silence. I'm coming down, Lloyd. Forget you. This is my money. Okay, Lloyd. I'm sorry. You asked for it. You asked for it, Lloyd. I didn't want to kill you, but I guess I had to. <clears throat> All right. Let's get the money. A thousand ships. There we are. Nice. Um, let's go back up. So, this is a graveyard. Well, I mean, we can dig up graves, right? I mean, that's like a thing we can do with our shovel. We lose like karma for it. What the hell is that? Is that something you can pick out? No. It's just a human skull. Whatever. Um, yeah, we would lose karma for it, and I don't know if there's much to gain. If you know that there's, like, a grave where there's something, like, really cool inside or something special, tell me, and I'll dig shit up here, but <laughs> I want to try to not do that. You want to encounter a gang? No, not now, sorry, because I haven't saved. I don't want to get fucked. Um, we're going back to 2nd Street, right? Because you've got the money. Am I on the right street? I think I am. Yes, I am. Let's say... Oh, not load. Let's save. And... Let's turn in our quest. How much XP? 16,000. Okay, that's going to take a while. For the next level. That's okay. I wonder what level you are when you, when you finish the game. Oh, touch the door again, I'll turn you into a torch. Mason, you found Lloyd yet? Yeah, I found him. 
Nods frowning slightly. Well, all right, then go tell Mr. Sartori what you found. Oh, really? Is that what I should what I should do? <laughs> oh, really? Is that what sh what I should do? Thanks, Mason. Without you, I wouldn't even know how to get from place to place. Sheesh. All right, that's not. You will get what he deserves at some point, but I don't want to like have too much provocation. Whatever. Salvatore looks up at you, takes a breath from the mask. Have you disposed of the thief? Yeah. The vultures are probably shitting pieces of him out right now. Puts his fingers together. And the money, has it been recovered? Um, yes. I'll take the money now. Yeah, there you go. Salvatore nods. No. Salvatore nods as you give him the money, but he holds his hands halfway through the transaction. The remaining half is yours. Hey, thanks. Oh, well, that's nice. Takes a breath from his mask. You have done as I asked. I have no further need of your services. Points to the exit. Leave now. Okay, was that it? Okay. Is that all the business he wants to do with us? That's weird. That is weird. Anybody else got something to say? The man doesn't even glance up as you approach him. He's staring at the wall behind the bar. Hey, you ever killed anybody? What kind of asshole question is that? Oh, oh, back up, just curious. Back up yourself. Okay, well, never mind then. What the hell? That was a weird conversation. Okay. W right, I think I'm gonna end the part here. Um... I don't know what to do next. We could uh, check with the other bosses. Well, wasn't there also something we can do at the stables? Well, I'll end the part. I'll see you guys next part. Goodbye.